you know, this website and all these videos we're doing are, are really for you. You know, I look into this camera and I'm really seeing you. I don't know who you are, but I do know who you are because I have seen so many people that are in situations that you're in. I've been in those situations. And I really want to talk to you people that are out there that maybe are, have been out of work for months or a year. They tell me there's 6.3 million Americans that have been out of work for six months or more. Also, you may be uh, working in a big company. And if you're working in a big company, you're probably miserable. Uh, you can't wait till the day gets over. You want to retire as soon as you can retire because you don't feel like you're in charge of anything or you can make a difference. And I understand that, and you may be that. The one thing I've said to so many people, all of us are sole proprietors. On a football team, I was a quarterback and I was part of a 40-man team, but I was a sole proprietor. If I didn't perform, I didn't play. And things moved on. And your business is wherever you may be, in a big business or a little business, uh, you're, you're, you're a sole proprietor. You're accountable. And then we have sole proprietors that are the people that 70% of American business people or businesses are sole proprietors. So you can be any one of those people. But especially if you're that person that's been out of work for six months or a year or more. And if you are, you're pretty discouraged, aren't you? Things haven't worked out. And it's easy to get depressed. It's easy to blame other people. And these are the wrong things to do. Because if you become depressed and start drinking or start eating a lot or stop eating or go to drugs or go to all these artificial things, it's going to get worse. Or if you're so depressed that you can't get out of bed in the morning or you don't want to go out, you're embarrassed that you're out of work and you, and you don't want to try. The bad news won't get better with age. It'll get just worse. And what I want to talk to you about is how you can get yourself back on the beam. And you can. A couple of things that, that I know. They don't give trophies for just trying. I could say, well, you know, coach, I tried real hard, but, you know, we lost by 40 points, or I didn't complete a pass, or I threw a lot of interceptions. He doesn't care. They don't give trophies for trying. So trying is not enough. And also hanging out with people who just tell you how great you are and how good you are and how smart you are, that's not good enough. I was fortunate. I didn't grow up with any money. Grew up with great parents. But they were parents who were willing to tell me when I was wrong. To correct me when I was doing something out of line. I had coaches. I had high school coaches in my era, man, they were tough. And I had some of the toughest of the tough. And I'd play a great game and I would say, man, I've, I, I'm there, I've arrived, I've done it. And my coach said, this is as good as you think you can be. I said, you know, I think you can be a lot better than that. And if, if my expectations are bigger than your expectations, they never let me get satisfied. It was what I call tough love. They were willing to correct me. I had a friend one time that, that uh, his son was working for me and I told him, I said, you know, I got evidence your son is, is, is doing drugs and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. Oh, thanks for telling me, I'm gonna talk to him. He talked to him. He, uh, he talked to him, he came back to me, he said, ah, you know, my son, thanks for telling me that. But my son told me, you know, he wasn't doing drugs and my son's never lied to me. 20 years later, his son died. He died from drugs. He never stopped using. But parents sometimes don't want to see it, do they? They don't want to, they don't want to correct their kids. I saw where Marie Osmond's son just committed suicide. And, uh, and they thought it was from depression and she was on Oprah Winfrey show and she said that, oh no, it wasn't from depression. He committed suicide at age 22. He started doing drugs at 12 and we ignored it and we didn't look for it. So the people that just are going to be around and tell you how good you are and how pretty you are and how handsome you are and how smart you are, that's nice. But you need people who will tell you the truth, the people that will have tough love, the people that will be great mentors and coaches to you. Because you, 
the only person that can get you out of your funk, the only person that can make you successful is yourself. It's going to be your work ethic, your belief system. And the way you can get out of it is to have a desire to help other people. See, nobody much mentions this, but the, the mission of business is to help people. The mission of life is to help people. And I want you, if you're out of work or you're unhappy with where you are, I want you to look in the mirror. Because the glass in the mirror, it never fails to tell the truth. And ask yourself the question, who am I? Am I what I thought I would be? Am I doing the things that I should be doing? Am I thinking right? My belief system right? You know the difference between right and wrong as all of us do. Because the, that mirror, it never lies. The responsibility comes to you. See, it's as a quarterback, I had to figure out how to play. Don't you see football on Saturday, Saturdays and Sundays and you see these quarterbacks, they can't make plays, they're just awful. Then there are a few, like Peyton, Man Peyton Manning and Tom Brady and the other, they figured it out. At the end of the day, nobody can figure it out for you. You've got to figure it out. You've got to put your hands in the soil. You've got to get yourself back up. You've got to go on the streets and start talking to people and reading and doing something. And if you don't have a job, go get a job. Oh, but they don't have one that, that, that I would, 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 would fulfill that fulfills my desires and wishes. Because I'm too big for this job. If I was out of work, I'm going to support my family. If I've got to bag groceries, if I've got to wait tables, if i got to dig ditches, I'm going to do that. I'm going to feel good about that. And you will too. If a job's not out there that you think is up to your standards, go do it. Go earn some money. Because if you take action and do something, things happen for good. Things start to work. But if you just sit there watching television and stuffing your mouth with potato chips and candy and beer and whatever else, I can assure you, you're not going to get out of your funk. But you can. And nobody but you can get you out. But you can get you out. And I want to help you. I'm going to be right here for you. You can email us. You can talk to us. You can ask us questions. You can go to the rest of this website and see more videos and get more ideas. But you can communicate to us. Because I'm to, I, I don't know you, but I do know you. And I want to help you. And I want to be your mentor. And I want to be your coach. And we'll do everything that we can to make you successful. To make you get the life that you really want. Thanks for coming to our site. Thanks for listening to us. And we'll continue talking to you. And I'm sure that we can help you get the things that you want.